back in Victory Yard here on Classic Sports. For the next little while, we're going to be doing something special with a man who stars in a one-man play entitled Matty. It's about the life and times of Christy Mathewson, one of the greatest pitchers the game of baseball has ever known. His name is Eddie Frierson. Eddie became fascinated by Christy Mathewson by reading a book that was written by Christy and decided to turn it into uh, this one-man play that's been receiving just great reviews everywhere it's been in the cities that it's been in around America. What was it about this book? Where is it here? Pitching in a Pinch, Every Boy's Library, Boy Scout Edition. <laughs> what was it about this book? Well, actually, I mean, I had been looking for, for quite some time for a vehicle to turn into a one-person show before the great glut of one-person shows. This is years ago uh, when I got out of college at UCLA in 82. And my father found a copy of Pitching in a Pinch in a used bookstore. And uh, it sat on my shelf for a while. And, and it just happened to be the book that I picked up to take to Family Reunion in 84 when I uh, got out, it was getting out of town for the Olympics because everyone thought that the Olympics was going to be a zoo in, mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. And I read it on the plane and I was laughing out loud. And I said, These guys are coming, up. this is it. The guy's my size. He's very special. I mean, Hannes Wagner, Ty Cobb, all these characters are coming to life. And I said, This is it. I'll just adapt the book. But uh, then when I got into the research and started meeting uh, descendants and relatives and people who actually knew Matthewson and could give me some great stories, uh, it became very clear that this was much more than the book Pitching in a Pinch. This was a very special man, and it was a story that needed to be told. Could you have done this if you weren't a baseball player at UCLA and in high school? Could you have done that? I think I uh, could have, but uh, I think uh, the fact that was, I was a ball player added both a little bit to me emotionally getting into the project and also to the authenticity. I mean, I, I'm able to recreate his pitching motion exactly. Um, uh, when I'm asked a baseball question, I can answer it, you know, with, with knowledge and, and insight. And I think that uh, all that adds to the background. Certain, certainly makes uh, Christy more special to me as the subject for, for this uh, play. Now, obviously, when you read this book, something clicked about the guy that you thought a lot of people would want to know more about. What was it about his personality? What, what, what's the hook of Christy Mathewson, so to speak? Well, my first stop uh, on my research trip was at Bucknell University, and I didn't really know anything about Mathewson other than he was uh, the first class elected to the Hall of Fame, and he invented the screwball, but they called it the fadeaway. Mm -hmm. um, Never won the Cy Young Award, though. Well, because they didn't have such I know, a thing. I'm but just he, testing you. <laughs> but he pitched against Cy. <laughs> um, and uh, so I, my first stop was at Bucknell, and, and as I pulled into the campus, there's this huge gate with uh, 1927 in wrought iron on the top. And I went, well, Matheson died in 1925, so why don't I just walk over and look at this? And there's this huge plaque on the one side of it it's talking about uh, all the baseball accomplishments, Christy Matheson and records and this, that, and the World Series in 1905, the three shutouts and all these things, blah, blah, blah. But then on the other side, it was Christy Matheson, athlete, soldier, scholar, loved son, uh, president of his uh, president of, the, of his class, class historian, member of two fraternities, two literary societies, the band, the Glee Club, football, basketball, baseball. It's like a true renaissance He was man. a big man on campus. And then as I dug into the archives there and then started interviewing people, found out here's a guy, he wrote a Broadway play, acted in vaudeville, did the movies, was best friends with President Bill Taft. Um, he was, very, he was a very special man to the point where if Christy Mathewson gave his opinion in the newspapers on a certain subject, the public would follow that rather than the president. I mean, he was a very special man. Of course, nobody knows that, and he was the vehicle that the press used at the turn of the century to turn baseball into the national pastime. And, of course, he was, he was not very comfortable with the position that he was put in with all that responsibility, but he always felt that because of the number of people that he was able to reach through baseball in the newspapers, he had an obligation to try and live up to that trust the public had in him. I was going to save this for later, but it's too good to save. This is uh, a letter. This is it. Someone addressed this letter, and, and Eddie's going to tell us a story. This is it. Big six with the return address. And they pop this in a mailbox and tell us what happened. Well, he was, uh, he was so popular. His nickname was the Big Six, and he always hated the nickname. Didn't understand why they called him that. Uh, he thought it was because he was over six foot tall. But Sam Crane, in one of his newspaper columns one day, compared him to the Big Six Fire Company in New York City. He called him the fastest to put out the fires. And, uh, he Which became, was a compliment. Sure. Uh, but it was, he, he was so popularly known as the Big Six in the country and throughout the world, really, I mean, in many parts of the world, that uh, this fella in Chicago just wrote this little note saying, uh, you know, Chris, if you get this, please let me know. And he dropped it in a mailbox in Chicago, and some postmaster there wrote on the outside, try Los Angeles, because some, you know, the word was, well, Matthewson stayed in Los Angeles during the off-season. And 
It arrived from Chicago to Los Angeles at his house that is still there on West 54th Street in South Central L.A., beautiful little house. That is unbelievable. And, uh, and it arrived with just a big six on the envelope. Wow. Well, I guess if someone wrote a letter today, Michael Jordan to Chicago, someone might know, or put a 23 on it, they might figure it out. But <laughs> well, still the back Bulls then. would get it to him anyway, <laughs> sure. All right, we're talking to Eddie Frierson, who stars in the one-man play called Maddie, It's the Life and Times of Christy Mathewson. We'll have a special treat in a matter of moments, but right now, enjoy a... Brief look at what this play is all about. 